It's time for our first Pacific Island feast. And welcome back to Cliffy Land. This is weekend country number 58 on our second attempt of cooking the food of every country in the world. And tonight we're up to the nation of Fiji. Fiji is a nation of about 330 islands, about 110 of which are populated, located in Melanesia. That's in the South Pacific Islands, about 1,300 miles northeast of the North Island of New Zealand, or about a third of the way between New Zealand and Hawaii. If you're looking at it counterclockwise, as close as neighbors are Vanuatu, New Caledonia, the Kermarik Islands of New Zealand, Tonga, the Samoas, the French Islands of Wallace and Fortuna, and Tuvalu. Its cuisine is pretty typical of that of the rest of Oceania, and as with everywhere else in the world, recipes can vary between countries and even between different islands within one country. We're going to try to be as universal as possible here. Specifically, the food of Fiji is quite interesting in that it is tied in very closely with its complicated history. See, it was a British colony for about 100 years, and in that time the British brought in South Asians to work in the plantations, and after independence that became something of a source of conflict among the different people there. Which is a story for another time. However, the mix of people did lead to an interesting mix in the cuisine in that there are some dishes which are a combination of traditional South Pacific dishes mixed in with South Asian ingredients. We're going to see that in one of our three dishes. And the three dishes that we're cooking are Kokonda, or a raw fish dish similar to ceviche, only made with coconut milk. Palosami, which is a packet of corned beef and coconut cream in a taro leaf package. And our fusion dish, which is a spice sweet potato and banana salad. But before we go any further, we have to see how things went when we tried this last time around. Well, four years ago on the Global Cooking Adventure, my big problem was finding those taro leaves. I tried and tried to find them fresh, I wound up finding them dry, and long story short, that didn't work out too well. Oops. So the palosami was sort of a dud, the kokonda was okay, and the salad was a big hit. Now we have to see what goes into those dishes. First, for the kokonda, or Fijian raw fish, we'll need one pound of fresh mahi-mahi fillets, skinned. You may also use escalar or snapper, cut into one centimeter cubes. The juice of five limes, the juice of two lemons, Lemons, one medium-sized onion, finely diced, two red chilies, minced, we're going with Fresno chilies here, two to three sprigs of green onions, finely sliced, one cup of tomatoes, finely chopped, the leaves of three to four stalks of cilantro, about two cups of coconut milk, and lime wedges for garnish. And then for our spiced sweet potato and banana salad, we'll need 14 ounces of cooked sweet potato, four ripe bananas, a quarter cup of lemon juice, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two teaspoons of curry powder, Powder, two cloves of garlic crushed, half a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of chopped green onions, and chopped cilantro or parsley for dressing. And finally, for our palusami or corned beef and coconut with taro leaves, we'll need two to three dozen young taro leaves, 16.9 ounces or 500 milliliters of coconut cream, seven ounces of cooked corned beef, one medium onion thinly sliced, two medium tomatoes thinly sliced, optionally three to four garlic cloves minced, optionally, a pinch of sage, optionally, a pinch of dried thyme, and salt to taste. That sounds like it's a lot of fun. Let's get cooking. First, in a bowl, mix the fish, lime juice, lemon juice, and cover the fish completely. Cover and refrigerate for two to three hours until the fish is opaque. Drain and rinse the fish. Then, in a bowl, combine the fish and onion, red chili pepper, diced tomato, sliced green onion, chopped cilantro, and coconut milk. Salt to taste, mix well and chill. Cut the hard stems off the taro leaves. Place in warm water until the leaves are pliable. This also leaches the acid and makes the leaves taste better. Drain the leaves. Line a shallow bowl with foil, ensuring enough foil margin to cover the entire package. Make layers of the leaves, placing the largest leaves on the bottom and the smallest on top. And be sure all gaps and holes are covered with the leaves. Then in a bowl mix, half of the coconut cream and the corned beef. Optionally, add the crushed garlic, the sage if using, and thyme if using. Scoop a quarter of the mixture into the center of the leaves, add a quarter of the tomato slices, add a quarter of the onion slices, add a second quarter of the meat cream mixture, 
Add a second quarter of the tomato slices. Add a second quarter of the onion slices. Pour on half of the remaining cream. Fold over the leaves to make a packet. Secure with toothpicks. Fold and seal the foil over the packet. Place in an oven-proof pot or Dutch oven and repeat to make a second packet, making sure to salt each layer as needed. Place the second packet in a pot and cover. Bake in an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 40 minutes. Cover the bananas in lemon juice and let marinate. Heat the oil in a small skillet over medium heat. Add the curry powder and the garlic. Saute for 45 minutes until fragrant. Remove from heat and let cool. In a small bowl, mix the mayonnaise. Add the curry mix to the mayonnaise. Mix well. In a large bowl, mix the cooked cubed sweet potatoes and the bananas. Fold in the dressing. Fold in the sliced green onion. Chill until time to serve. Remove the pot from the oven. Unwrap the foil packets. Transfer the leaf packets to the serving plates. Remove the toothpicks and open the packets. Scoop servings of the coconda into bowls. Dress with lime wedges. Plate servings of the salad. Dress with chopped cilantro or parsley. about the palosami. I was really glad this time that I knew to soak those taro leaves first to leach out the acid, make them more pliable, and make the dish overall a whole lot tastier. Unfortunately, either something in the recipe or something that I did made it kind of odd. There was something in that combination of corned beef and the coconut cream that just left it feeling kind of odd. I really am sorry about that. I think I'm gonna give the palosami three out of five globes. If there's something I obviously did wrong, please help explain in the comments. As for the Coconda. That was tasty. We really liked the citrus flavors and with the fish and the tomatoes and onions. However, there was something missing. It felt like with the coconut milk and the something. I don't know if I didn't season it enough or there was just an ingredient that should have been there. If I knew more about this all, I'd be able to figure that out myself. But again, if you have any helpful thoughts, let me know. But lastly, that spiced salad was really great. It was just as good as it's been every time I've made it. I love it. It's a creamy surprise. That curry flavor is just so wonderfully unexpected and it really works. Try it out. I'm gonna give the spiced sweet potato and banana salad five out of five globes. Super great. So that does it for Fiji. Remember, if you'd like to see our streams live when they happen every Tuesday night, be sure to follow us on Periscope or Busker or Facebook Live. Like and subscribe to be advised when these videos are posted every Wednesday night. And if you have any thoughtful feelings or helpful suggestions about the food of Fiji or any of our future nations, be sure to sound off in the comments. And remember, links to the original recipes can be found in the About section. And tune in next time when we head back to Europe for more Viking food. Fish luck. Time for the food of Finland. So tune in. Should be good. Thanks for watching and happy eating.